Hey everyone, welcome back to Part Out, where we talk about off-road rigs and accessories. Now today is going to be a little bit of a different episode, and that's because when you're out on the trail and you're pushing yourself pretty hard, I mean, things tend to go sideways, you tend to break down sometimes. And if you're not breaking down, are you really off-roading? So what I have here in front of me is a SEMA award-winning product that is built by the guys over at Pro Eagle Jack. So what this is here is an off-road jack. They actually call this the big wheel jack. And basically what this is, super heavy duty, uh, all terrain jack that can get your vehicle up safely. So I've got a spec sheet on this and I'll go ahead and go through that real quick. So uh, Everett, you got the specs? Some of you might be asking yourselves, how on earth could a jack possibly be any more revolutionary or different than anything else that's on the market? And I can honestly say that this jack was built from the ground up from the racing scene for off-road racing. This thing is durable. But let's go ahead and go through the specs. Um, underneath this thing is a flat skid plate. And you're probably wondering why would you need a skid plate for a jack? Well, for off-road purposes, if you're in the sand or you're in uh, mud or something like that, you can roll this thing under. And then when you start actually applying pressure and the truck starts adding weight to it, It'll start sinking into the ground uh, where most jacks, the first thing that'll stop it is whatever the first biggest piece is, which most of them not having a skid plate means they'll just sink right down in the ground and you're not gonna really get anywhere getting some lift on the vehicle. When you have this skid plate underneath, you're actually gonna retain, it's gonna have a nice flat surface area and it's just gonna sink right to that skid plate, allowing you to get full traction to get that vehicle up in the air. The next cool feature about this is that it actually has extensions that you can buy for it. Now I currently don't have mine. It's actually, I left it in my buddy's uh, razor and um, he still has it. So. Uh, what this actually comes with is an 8 inch extension, so if you have a lifted truck or something, you can go ahead and get under there and it'll still reach just fine. But if you have a super lifted truck, they have a 15 inch option that you can actually buy for these jacks to get those really big trucks up in the air. Next you have this awesome detachable aluminum handle. It detaches and then they actually make an optional mount that will mount in the bed of your truck or in your razor or wherever. Um, this will actually attach right into it as well. It breaks down and it gets very compact. And speaking of compact, uh, these jacks only weigh like 50 pounds, so they're not super heavy. So when they're mounted up in your vehicle, you're not really adding much weight to your vehicle. Now, one thing we've already kind of touched on are the wheels. Now, these wheels are designed for off-road use. Now, on their website, they actually have it specified as high-capacity, non-pneumatic, composite wheels for durable, heavy lifting. In English, they're hard plastic tires that you don't have to air up or air down. They're just a solid construction that you don't have to worry about. They're just good to go. Seeing these wheels out in action and stuff as far as this whole jack, the Fox Trophy truck team uses these jacks and their pit crew deploys them really quickly in order for them to change out the tires. You can see that here in this video clip. It's really awesome to watch them go. Now Pro Eagle has kind of thought about everything here. So all the bearings and everything, they're sealed away from the elements. So they'll constantly work no matter what elements you throw them in. You have uh, soot, sand, mud, water, I mean, all sorts of elements that can get in there. It's all sealed up, so it'll work smoothly every time you go to use it when you need to use it. Hopefully you never have to use it, but it'll work when you need it. Another cool feature about this jack is it has a dual piston setup. Basically what that'll equate to is that you'll be able to get less uh, pumps on the jack and the vehicle will get up faster. So overall, less work, more efficiency. A lot of the race teams, almost all of the race teams I've seen are running this jack just to have as a precautionary method in case they blow a tire, which Let's be honest, that happens quite a bit out there. Um, and you just see these things, just they rapidly get them off their mounted uh, mounts, slide them under the vehicles, and they just go right through whatever terrain they're on. They jack the vehicles up, change out tires, fix whatever they got to fix, and they're back out on the track going. So um, one of the cool things is it's a patented product, two-year warranty. I mean, this is a really just a great American-made product. This is a two-ton capacity jack. This is the one that we have here in the video. Uh, it's designed for... Um, you know, razors, UTV kind of thing, all the way up to a half ton trucks. They also make a three ton version for anything larger than a half ton truck. Now I know some of you UTV owners are kind of skeptical about having something this big. I mean, it would take up a lot of space. The guys over at Pro Eagle have really thought about that and they actually came out with this smaller CO2 powered jack just for those smaller UTVs so you don't have to take up as much space. You just pop that sucker underneath the vehicle, hook up the CO2 and it pushes itself right up just like those cool uh, Formula One cars. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's everything you need to know about this Pro Eagle Off-Road Jack. I am super excited that products like this exist because 
A, it makes things safer out in the trails. It makes things a lot easier. And to be honest, I just want to focus on off-roading. And if I break down, I just want to be as quick as possible about getting fixed and getting back out on the trails. So remember to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time.